Okay? So you need to have your marker. Have you got a cloth to wipe your hands with? Yes. Or some telling paper? Just something? Okay, I'm a, I'm a very messy painter. If you're a neat painter, that's fine. You don't need one. Then you need your water for mixing and for cleaning. You can have two, two containers of water. Okay. All right. Okay, so take your half inch fat brush and we're going to dip into water and we're going to take our yellow our yellow and you're going to make in the center of your canvas can you see you're going to do circular movements like this okay all right and it can be nice brushwork. I don't want a dot. I just want circular movements. And then add some white into that and go in the center and go round and round into your yellow. If your canvas is big, you want the yellow to be center, dead center. You're gonna want a big moon on a big canvas. If your canvas is small, then you're going to have a, it's just a central yellow. I don't want to go too fast. Okay, nice circular movements. And you can even take it all the way out like that. Did you see? Hey, Ilsa, um, quick thing. Um, maybe if I make you a co-host, it might enlarge your screen so everyone can see. So I think it's maybe a small screen. So I'm going to make you a co-host, okay? Okay. Let me see if that changes for everyone. Because now, if you're talking, it might be a bigger screen for everyone. It's in terms of a lower screen, a smaller screen. Okay. All right. So you can go ahead. Sorry. Okay, I'm going on. So you've done a, a central circle, and then you've done like like circular movements round. So you've got this like rough circle thing going on. Okay. Then I want you to take your water, dip into your lighter blue. And then start on the outer part of your circle and do like, like circular lines. I don't want you to make it solid. I just want you to be rough all the way around. Do you see? Almost like a halo. All right. Don't worry about painting neat. The light blue. Yes. Light blue. Light blue. Okay. All right. So you still got the fat brush. Now you've got blue on your paint brush, right? Okay. Right. Now you're going to go into your dark blue. Put a bit of water on your dark blue and you go out around the edge. Take a lot of the dark blue and then just work it around the edges. And that should fill the canvas up, right? Yes, that should fill up your canvas. Okay, my canvas is so big. So you'll get a bit of a blend between your blues and your yellows and your green and it might look a little bit messy right now. That's fine. Okay, but you, you want to do it, you see? And then if your canvas is, um, if your canvas is sided, if it's flat, then you can't do it. But if you've got sides to your canvas like I've got, then you're going to paint that dark blue around the side. You may as well do it now so that it's, it's finished on the edges. So you see what I'm doing? See? So just take your dark blue and fill the edges up. Okay. 
And you can just keep yourself busy with that until you have something complete with your dark blue. All right, so are you doing that? Yeah. All right. Mama painting lagi bhi hai. That's okay, I'll let you carry on. When you guys are ready, then I'll tell you what to do next. So, let me hold up your stuff. Let me see. That's it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, lovely. I love it. Oh, it's looking lovely. Try to get your yellow. Okay, it's fine. Your yellows are where they are. So, that's fine. Just remember, wherever your yellow is, that's where your cats are going to be. So, it's fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, what I want you to do is... If you're ready to move on, okay, carry on because you've got a bigger canvas. So fifth, when you're all finished, hold up your stuff so I can see. You're having fun. <laughs> you don't need to rush. There, I see, I see, that's looking good. Looking good. I'm going to tell you the next step. So you know what to do next. You're gonna take your brush, your dry, thinner brush, your dry one, and then I want you to go around where your where you're, um, and I just want you to use the dry brush and just start circular movements, work out, and just brush the paint almost like you're blending it. You see what's going on? You're creating like a fuzziness with the little bit of wet paint that's there. You're creating like this fuzzy glow with your dry brush, but in circular movements. You see what's starting to happen? It's getting like a fuzzy, a fuzzy, fuzzy look. That's creating the glow of the moon. You see, I'm getting like a fuzzy, 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 fuzzy look with a dry brush. The 
use your I think dry I brush. Hey? Did you put white in the yellow? I did, but uh, don't do that yet. You can do that later. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Just take your dry brush and you make circular movements between the light blue and the yellow and work out. Just dry brush around your, your moon. Okay? So what will happen is your paint will start like becoming fuzzy. You want a fuzziness. It's going to give you the glow. Can you see? Ethan. Let me see. Nice, okay. Why has Deanna got a black in her moon? Okay, let me see. Looking good, looking good. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. Okay, so if you've done that, I want you to clean off your fat brush. Where's my fat brush? Oh, yeah. Your fat brush will have a lot of blue on it. I want you to clean it off in the water, dry it off. Hmm? I want that brush clean, 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 because you're going to go back into your moon and you're going to use white. And you're just going to start just rubbing some white. I'm going to show you now what to do. Just get it all clean. And just test that that brush is clean on uh, whatever surface you've got there, like some newspaper. Just test that it's clear. All right. You want a clear brush, clean, clean, clean. I want you to take some white. I'm going to show you. I want you to take some of your white and some yellow. I want you to make a very light color. So it must be baby yellow, baby yellow. Lots of white, baby yellow. Okay, mix enough so that you can get, get into that moon. All right, now go into your moon and start from the center and work out, work out, work out, and then work into your, into your, out, your, 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 your lighter blue, and then work out like that. See what's happened? So you have a baby yellow, you work in a circular movement and you work out into your blue, but don't go back in because then you're going to make a dirty moon. You want your moon to stay clean. And then work out into the blue and you'll get that kind of effect. If you have made a dirty moon, we'll go over it just now. But don't make a dirty moon. And if your colors don't make straight lines, if your colors blend, it's okay. You want a fuzzy edge. I'm gonna hold it up there so you can see what effect you want. And everybody's is going to look different. See, there's no right and there's no wrong. <laughs> Let me see, Diana. Yes, good. Let me see, Nick. Let me see. Okay. Let's see. Woo! Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. 
Right. Okay. If you feel you have covered the whole canvas and you have empty spaces and you want to just complete it, that's very nice. I love it. Beautiful. And everybody's going to have a different look at the end. Some will be a bit more abstract. And that's fine. Okay, as long as your moon is not dirty in the middle, it needs to be clean. All right. I'm going to just do my edges a little bit dark with the, my dark blue. I'm just going to get some dark in there. If you want to do the same, you can. But I don't want you to make clean lines. You just, just, you, it's called scumbling. You just, oopsie. Okay, I've made a mistake. Just ignore me. Just if you want to clean all that yellow. Sorry? My light blue disappeared. It's okay. It's okay. If you want, you can work back in there. But don't go into the center and make sure that your brush. If you want to go in with a little bit of white around the moon, then you can. You take your brush with a bit of white and you go around the room, you can. Don't worry. Let me see. Let me see. What? Well, let me see. Okay, so what I would do if I was you, take your brush, clean it off with any blue, go back into the white and the baby yellow, and go over the edge so it's not a crisp line. You don't want a crisp line, you want a fuzzy. Okay? okay. So clean off your brush from blue, put some white and yellow on it, and go just around the edge and merge into that blue. You're going to get like a, 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 a smudge. You want a smudge. That's the point. Okay. That it mustn't be clean. You want a little bit of like color mixing. It must look like a bit of a, a smudge. And I'm going to leave you with that a little bit so you can just get happy with what you've got there. If you don't, if you have a crisp line around your moon, go in with clean white and yellow and make like a smudginess, okay? Don't stress. <laughs> Just fill up your edges with uh, blue. If you're finished, hold yours up so I can see if you're happy. If you're finished, I want you to take your canvas and I want you to fan it. I want to get it a little bit dry so we can draw on it with the koki. Okay? So just fan it. If you have a hairdryer nearby, you can or take some paper and just fan it a little bit. Nice, looking good. Just get it nice and dry. Nice. So where your, okay. So where your canvases are very big and you have a small moon, you're going to draw a lot more bigger lines than me. I'll show you what I want you to do. And if your canvas is small, then you'll just draw less. So wherever there's blue, you're going to draw over the blue with the black curly whirlies. But I'll show you now, so don't stress. You can also make that moon a little bit bigger by adding light yellow rings around it. So just get it a little bit dry. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we just want this, this canvas to be a little bit dry so that we can start drawing with the black koki. If we were painting the lines, we could do it now, but because we're drawing it on, it just needs to be drier. So fan it until it's nice and dry. Uh, 
Yeah. Romanus, very Now would be a good time to have a sip of water or something to drink, just so we can wait until your canvas is dry. Ilsa, you're doing a great job. Really? Appreciate yeah, appreciate you bringing your talents onto the Zoom, letting us know. <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> It has to be a very uh, quick step thing because if you do it too complicated, then people who can't paint get a little bit, Indeed. you know, intimidated. So, I mean, everybody's doing a great job. This I've isn't seen too difficult, I hope. It's just the drying part is important because you can't draw on it if it's not dry. I want to draw the cats first because that's the, probably the scary part. So if your center is nice and dry, we can start in the center. Mine's still a bit wet. Right, I just want to test if my yellow is uh, dry enough. Okay, it's still a little wet. Normally the paint dries quite quickly. I think probably in Qatar it'll dry quicker than here yeah, because you've got such hot, well you're in aircon. All right, it, it, how do you feel about your canvases? Are they wet or dry? Dry. Wet. wet. Okay, can we give it a baby another minute or two? Just to get it drier? Uh, Actually, hold on. I'm going to do something. It might work. Because I don't want to do it wrong with mine. Okay, I haven't disappeared. I'm still here. I'm just mine's just for some reason incredibly wet. I don't know why.
command strike. If you need to use the hairdryer, use the hairdryer. <laughs> okay. Now take your marker. The drawing is very simple. If you break it down, I'll just show you. You want to get your main branch down the bottom. Okay, don't worry about the rest. All you're worrying about is your main branch down the bottom of your moon. Then we're going to draw, if you look at this, really what it is, it's like an upside down teardrop. Okay. And then it's got a little line and it's got an oval. So I will do it. We're going to break it down and the, and the baby is exactly the same. Okay, if you want to practice this on a piece of paper, you can. All right? So, now I'm going to do it with you guys. Okay. So, you have your main branch, and it doesn't, not perfect, it's just a branch. It can be fat, I would make it fat. Right. Now we're going to do the body. So it's an upside down teardrop. So you're going to go up, round, down. Can you see? Upside down teardrop. And you're going to color that space in. You're going to make a solid. Maybe your color is a little bit uh, not so sharp, but don't worry about that because when we go, we go back over it. My coke is uh, running out, so it's not great. All right, but I want an upside down teardrop. Have you all got an upside down teardrop? You can practice it on paper first. Okay. Then you're going to have the neck, which is just a line. Just a line. And then we're going to do the head, which is an oval. Oval. Obviously, you don't want it to be bigger than the body. It's just an oval. And don't worry if it's, if it's not sharp, we can go back over it. You see? So it's an upside down teardrop, a neck and an oval. And then we're going to do the little ears, which are little triangles on the top. So we're going to do little triangles. Make a little sharp point at the top. And then we're going to do the whiskers. Okay. And you're just going to do three whiskers. Don't make them too fat, make them finish if you can. And then we're going to put the tail in. The tail over here. You can come down and you meet it here. That's a cat. Easy. But it must be big, not small. <laughs> so you want to fill up the whole moon with your cat. If possible. If not, if not, then just at least half of the moon. All right? Okay, so it's an upside down teardrop, a neck, an oval, two triangular ears, and some whiskers. Very easy. Very easy. <laughs> Very 
is. Nice. Put the tail on. Okay. Nice. Nice. Everybody's is going to look different and it doesn't matter. It's going to be lovely. All right, if you've finished with your mommy cat, we'll do the baby in exactly the same way. So if your baby cat, if your mommy cat is a baby cat, then you must draw a mommy cat because one must be big and one must be small. I'm going to do the baby next to it in exactly the same way. So if your Koki um, is not black enough, go over your little picture with so it's darker. It was just my paint was still a bit wet, so my Koki wouldn't go dark on the wet paint. But that's what you really want to have at the end of the day. Upside down teardrop, neck, oval, two triangle ears and a tail. <laughs> okay, let me see what you've got going on there. Nice, very nice. Let's see. Okay, where's your cat? You need to draw them. Very nice. I love him. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Nice. They was nice. Look how beautiful. Lovely. Okay, color it in. <laughs> nice. 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 Okay, so what I'm going to do now is with the people that are still busy with their cats, I'm going to do the background and you guys can then just, uh, because the, ba the rest of this is just decorative. It's all just squiggly lines and little things. So I'm just going to show you. All right, so this is your main branch. Nice, I'm loving it, beautiful. So this is now, the next part is up to you how much you want to, how decorative you want to go. But what you really want to do is you want to get a, a branch going up from, the, from the, the main branch and you want the branch to go off the page, off the canvas. And you want like a, you know, like a, so this one's going to be fatter. Unfortunately, my Koki is not very, something wrong with it. But anyway, you want a fat, you want a fat main branch. You see? And you want it to go off the page. And then the next part is really, you are going to do curly whirly. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So you're going to go off, round, squiggle. And you can do whatever you want here. This is all just decorative. You go like that. You go up, round. 
Mine is on my black is running out. Oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's see. I can do it like that, like that, like that. These you're just going to do whatever you want. It squiggles. Squiggles all over the blue part. Can you see the squiggles? Squiggles. If your paint is wet, you might want it to dry a little bit. You see all the squiggles? This is not something I can show you. This is something you do. This is where you have fun. You just squiggle curly whirly lines as if they branches that are just entwining. Um, if I do it on white, you'll see how to do it. I'm just going to do it on white so you can understand what you're doing. You are doing this. So you're doing this pattern. I'm going to show you. You are doing this kind of pattern. But it's branching off from your main branches. You're doing this kind of thing. You're doing these kind of designs, just designs, lots of them. All over the place, all over the blue. Mama, you want black? Okay, your cookie should be new, so they should be quite dark. Mine are a little bit running out now. I don't know why. But you want those kind of thin and fat, squeaky, cursive, curly kind of patterns. Yes, very nice, beautiful. As long as it's coming off the main branch so that it looks connected to the main branch. Absolutely lovely. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. It must look like vines. Beautiful. I'm loving it. Just go away. Just start curly whirling. I'm going to put this one here. Look at this one. This is like even more. Don't be scared. Just go cursive. And then where you see there are little V's, you're going to turn them into hearts. Like I've done. Do you see? You see the little hearts? They're in the V's of the branches. And you can put them wherever you want. You can have three, you can have many, you can have one. And those you are going to paint white. Okay, so that's what you end up with. And you can have fat ones, thin ones, um, 
long ones, short ones. As long as the whole canvas is now covered, especially in the blue part with your black decorative lines. Um, I didn't want you to do this with a black paintbrush because I know what will happen. You'll get upset with your lines because they will smudge. That's why we're doing it in Koki. But you could have done it in black, a thin black paintbrush. Um, if I do it with a thin black paintbrush, um, let me get one. Anyway, you could do it with a black thin paintbrush. So where are you all now? Where is everybody? Let me see. I can't hear anybody. Very nice. Very nice. You need to color in your kitty's heads. <laughs> Lovely. I'm loving it. It's beautiful. Mom, Deanna's mom, you must cut, paint your sides. Well, you can do that when you're ready. Okay, so if you have the V's, I want you to do the little hearts, okay? So, for example, where this one meets this one, you're going to make a heart outline. Where this one meets this one, you're going to make a heart outline. Can you see? I'm turning the corners into hearts. So if I did it on this one, where there is a, a join, you turn it into a heart. And do them wherever you want, wherever you see a join. You see? With a nice black outline. You see? Do it do them wherever you want. I'm going to do some on mine now. This Koki is drying out completely. Anyway, fine. And doing them there. And I'll do another one here. And you'll see there'll be different shapes. And then where you've drawn them, you're going to paint them in with some white. Okay. Now, that is a problem because we don't have a thin paintbrush. Do you all have a thin paintbrush handy? Did I tell you to get a thin paintbrush? I think you did need to get one, a small thin one, yeah. Okay. Use that thin one to do the hearts. Okay, so I'm going to do mine and then I will show you.
And if you bored and you finished, you can uh, just draw some more curly whirlies in your blue. Let me see, Mom. Nice. Lovely. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I love yours. It's so pretty and simple. I like that. You see, everybody has a different uh, interpretation. Very nice. If you don't want to make your hearts white, you can make them black, but I think the white looks pretty. And then what you can do with that little white paintbrush, if you want to do some more detail, I'll show you what to do. You make three little dots here and there. Uh, let me show you. Uh, can you see? Like almost as if they're little flowers here and there. You can just dot it. So I'm going to do that. Take the thin paintbrush and you just every here and there you just do three little 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 dots. Just gives like a little twinkle. And then you should be finished. I mean, it should, that's, that's the last step. Lovely. If you put the dots in the sky, that's also beautiful. I love that. Very nice. You can splatter some of your paintbrush onto the blue if you want to get like a starry effect. I didn't do that, but you could. But if you fiddle with it too much, it's, it's too busy. For now, I think the black curly whirlies are your decorative part of the painting. So if you like that, you can go and do it again now that you've done a practice round and then perfect it for yourself. But that's really it. So Ilsa, thank you so much. Um, I think everyone had a good time today. Seeing a lot of <laughs> see a lot of great artists here, actually. Um, I didn't participate because I know I'm not I'm good with a brush. <laughs> I'm better with a pen. Than with a brush. Good chicken. <laughs> I know, I know. Next time I should. You know what? Next time I'm gonna challenge myself, I'm gonna go jump into it. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Yes. I'm telling you, I'm not a great artist over here. Look at that. Lovely, nice. beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. And there's no right and wrong here. If your moon is not circular, it just looks like the sky. It's beautiful. All beautiful and different. Yeah. It looks great. Was that easy? No. <laughs> I think so. It was simple. It was simple enough. You taught it very well. I like how you did like the shapes and how you gave it, you know, reference to shapes instead of thinking about how to draw a cat. You know, for example. Exactly. You, know, you did a great exactly. job explaining that. You really did. Okay, good. <laughs> so you just break it down, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Great job. All right. Well, if that's the end. I guess yes. I hope everyone, you know, had a great time today. Mm -hmm. Some fabulous painting. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 And um, maybe we'll have you on again, Ilsa. We need to maybe have a round two in the spring. Yes. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Time. We'll do it again. Springtime painting. I'll, I'll yeah. get involved. I, that's my word. I'll get involved this time around. Springtime. All right. Good. Look at All right. All right. Lovely, Amina. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. All right, everyone. We're gonna, we're gonna shut it down. My computer is at two. Have a lovely, have a lovely Saturday you know, and day. enjoy the week. Yes, everyone, enjoy yourself. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate it. Bye.
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it was fun. Yes. Yes.